What's going on, guys? So I just got this sealed Life on Mars set, 7314, from 2001. It's such a sick set from my childhood, and I'm really pumped to have it again. I got a funny story behind it, too, so let's get into it. Yeah, there's not too many of these on the market anymore. The box is in good shape, though. It has a little bit of a crease right here, but other than that, pretty solid shape. But yeah, if you guys have seen any of my other like restore videos, you know this is my original binder from my childhood that I used to store all my original set instructions in. So I've kind of been using this binder to remind myself of all the sets I used to have, you know, and it, it's been helping me decide which of the sets are the most important to me in restoring or repurchasing or whatever it may be, you know. Originally, I was going to limit these restore videos to just the Star Wars sets because that's the theme that I have the most attachment to, you know. But as I started going through these instructions more, I remembered how much I love some of the other themes like Life on Mars. And after going through my original collection, I realized I had almost all the Life on Mars minifigs minus a few parts. So I decided I was going to extend my restore goal to the minifigs from a few other themes as well as a few sets from the life on mars theme i gotta be careful though because you know it's a slippery slope extending my collecting goals i don't want to go broke or anything it you know how collecting goes it, it can get pretty addicting but yeah i ended up getting this set because it was probably my favorite set from the theme or from what i had of the theme back in the day and for some reason, this was the only minifig from that theme that I didn't have anymore from my original collection. So yeah, that was the main reason. I still don't know if I'm going to build it yet or open it, but it would feel kind of weird to like have to get this last minifig and not be able to like include it in the collection of the rest of the minifigs. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I still have the instructions for this set, but I didn't really have enough parts to make it like a worthwhile restore project. Yeah, you'll see in another video, I have like all the minifigs from this huge arrow tube base set that I used to have. I'm trying to be smart about my Lego hustle though, you know, like sell some sets so that I can buy others or sell minifigs. I don't really have much attachment to the Harry Potter theme, but I did have a lot of the sets back in the day. Luckily, I was able to put back together this rare Voldemort minifig. So I sold that for 75 bucks in the same month that I got this Life on Mars set. Perfectly balanced, this whole thing should be. I sold it on eBay, so my payout was a little less than that. So it's not a perfect match, but with the shipping included, I paid about $83 for this sealed set. But it's kind of funny when I was I was just looking through the instructions for this set just for fun before I uh, got the sealed one. Kind of I noticed these funny pictures. Oh, I think it's in the back. Yeah, I noticed in these photos you can see this two by two brick. It's like not clicked in all the way. I just thought that was kind of funny that they didn't even notice that when they were taking these photos. I don't know if you can call that bad marketing because you wouldn't really see these photos unless you had already bought the set, you know, because they're in the instructions. You can imagine, though, with the pipe connected, it's probably not the strongest connection. Like, I can see this whole bit right here kind of falling off really easily just because of the pressure from the pipe. At least it looks like it's secured on this end with the um, sand red part on top, the plate. That sand red color is so sick too. That's that's a discontinued color now. But yeah, this set is so sick, isn't it? The Life on Mars theme had some of the best because they've made so many mechs in different themes over the years. I feel like these Life on Mars mechs are so sick compared to some of the other mechs that we've had over the years. You could you could like combine them too. I think I remember. Yeah, they had some other sets that you could combine them with. I never even had these two sets, so I couldn't really do that, but pretty cool. Yeah, I had this set, this one, this little ship, and then obviously this one. I have kind of a funny story behind this set, too. Story time! We had a basement at my house growing up, 
and I was building it in the basement. And then when I finished it, I was so excited to show my dad and his friend. I ran up the stairs to the main floor to show them. And I tripped on the last step and shattered the whole set in front of him. I think I cried too, so pathetic. But yeah, I'll never forget that. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, reminisce a little bit. We'll see if I end up getting this set too. I feel like I almost have to now just because it kind of goes with this other mech. Probably won't get this, but we'll see. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful, guys. But yeah, super sick to have this set again. It's gonna go into storage for now, but we'll see what happens in a little bit. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.